Moving on, of course, the pivotal moment of this international symposium is the, de is the Colombo Declaration. And of course, as I said before, best things are saved for last. The announcement of the Colombo Declaration is in the pipelines. The Colombo Declaration aims to promote the availability of research, science and technology to support implement the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction. The declaration will provide insights, suggestions and recommendations for the 2030 disaster risk reduction. And of course, to make the formal announcement on the Colombo Declaration, I cordially invite Mr. Sisira Madura Peruma the, from the Asian Disaster Preparedness Center, of course, who will be joining us from Thailand to make the official announcement on the Colombo Declaration. Very good evening from Bangkok, Thailand. Colombo Declaration of Multi-Hazard Early Warning and Disaster Risk Reduction 2020. Colombo Declaration promotes the availability and application of research, science, and technology to support the implementation of Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction toward 2030. The declaration will be adopted today, 16 December 2020, in Colombo, Sri Lanka. As you all have witnessed, this symposium provided an opportunity to discuss important challenges, share potential solutions that are critical to tackle the impact of climate change, disaster risk, both within Sri Lanka and in the region and beyond. It also provided an important opportunity to bring together and promote collective actions and collective wisdom among the ministries, government institutions, the private sector, non-governmental organizations, international organizations, academia, including universities and research organizations. The declaration was drafted, bringing together outputs and outcomes from keynote addresses, technical papers, presentations, thematic events that culminated an endorsement of a roadmap for disaster risk reduction. This declaration called upon the Disaster Management Center Government of Sri Lanka, together with other key stakeholders responsible for disaster risk reduction in the country, region and beyond, to work together to tackle priority issues and address during this symposium. The declarations recognize the importance of ensuring coherence among the global frameworks, such as 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, the Paris Agreement on Climate Change, Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction, the New Urban Agenda, among others. The priority issues and actions that are included in the declarations include, but not limited to, multi-hazard, climate-inclusive disaster risk reduction, including prevention, preparedness, and mitigation, risk-informed, evidence-based, end-to-end early warning system, disaster risk governance, accelerating the implementation of global agendas, including SFDRR and the Paris Agreement through national, subnational, and local strategies, policies, and programs, mainstreaming disaster risk reduction into investment planning processes and sectoral development plans, strategies, and programs, risk transfer mechanisms, including risk insurance, research and innovations for DRR, risk communications for DRR, and last but not least, promote multi-stakeholder partnerships and platforms to implement the declarations with the whole society approach, keeping the address community in the center of policies, strategies, and programs. Today is a key milestone for the disaster risk management practice community in Sri Lanka, adopting the Colombo Declaration which we believe will reshape and rephrase and accelerate the implementation of national strategies, subnational strategies, and local actions supported by global and regional instruments. On behalf of the Disaster Management Center, University of Hardaspil, Asian Disaster Preparedness Center, and all other international national stakeholders, we like to declare that this declaration is ready to be open and shared with the wider audience. And this will be readily available at the conference website with the Disaster Management Center as well as with other stakeholders. I thank you all. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Sisira Madura Peruma, joining us uh, from Bangkok, Thailand, uh, from the Asian Disaster Preparedness Center. Of course, now that the declaration has been officially announced, I cordially invite the Director General uh, of the Disaster Management Center, Major General Sudanta Ranasinghe, to hand over the Colombo Declaration to our esteemed chief guest of this international symposium, Major General Kamal Gunaratna, the Secretary to the Ministry of Defense and the Secretary to the State Ministry of National Security, 
home affairs and disaster management. Thank you very much, sir. If I, uh, if you could please remain on your feet, because right after the presentation of the Colombo Declaration, it's now time for memories. And I once again invite the Director General of the Disaster Management Centre, Major General Sudanta Ranasinghe, to hand over a memento of the International Symposium on Multi-Hazard Early Warning and Disaster Risk Reduction to, once again, our esteemed Chief Guest, the Secretary of Defence, retired Major General Kamal Gunaratna. Ladies and gentlemen, can we have a round of applause, please? The Disaster Management Centre, of course, has been uh, highly influential in preventing uh, and mitigating the damages caused by disasters here in Sri Lanka to the general community and we all hope and pray that the adoption of the Colombo Declaration will further assist us in protecting citizens here in Sri Lanka and across the world. Thank you very much, sir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, of course, present here in Sri Lanka at the Bandaranaika Memorial International Centre and participants across the world, all good things must come to an end. And of course, to announce the formal closure of the International Symposium on Multi-Hazard Early Warning and Disaster Risk Reduction, I cordially invite to the podium Mr. Sul Jayawira to announce the official closure of this International Symposium. Ladies and gentlemen, Good afternoon. It gives me a great pleasure to deliver the vote of thanks of this very important event. On behalf of all the organizers and partners of the International Symposium on Multi Hazard Early Warning and Disaster Risk Reduction, the Disaster Management Center is delighted to declare very successful completion of the Symposium 2020. The conference organizing committee met regularly and together we made an array of research, scientific and technical discussion during the last three days. All in all, provide the win commitment, support and guidance that is very much appreciated. Our thanks go to the International Scientific Committee members who made extensive efforts to review papers within the time scale to ensuring the high quality of the conference. We are grateful for the exceptional help and support extended by a number of executive officials, personalities, organizations and the staff of the DMC for organizing an international event of nature. I take this opportunity to thank His Excellency Gautam Abhir Rajabaksa, President of Sri Lanka, who is also the Chairperson of the National Disaster Management Council. Honorable Jamal Rajapaksa, State Minister of National Security, Home Affairs and Disaster Management. Major General Retire GDK Kamal Guratna, State Secretary of Ministry of National Security, Home Affairs and Disaster Management, and Secur Secretary of Defense. All papers, paper authors, who contributed with their scientific and policy inputs. We thank for keynote speaker Dr. Srinivas Tumala, Dr. Hakundi, Dr. Ananda Malwanti, and Professor Priyan Rice for their willingness to stimulate invaluable discussion and debate around the conference team. We also thank session chairs of all the technical session and plenary session for agreeing to ensure the conference is 
as challenging, exciting and rewarding as possible. We extend our sense of gratitude all, towards all sponsors and partners without their support. An event of this extent wouldn't have been possible to plan and hold. We thank the University of Huddersfield team for their unconditional effort towards the conference, for all their expertise on the development and management of the conference database and managing the double blind peer review process. We'd like to thank Spring for agreeing to publish selected papers from our symposium as chapter in the book volume. This will provide us 